Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Chris. And you are watching Anim Fantastic. As you guys already know, Disney bought Lucasfilm. And obviously there was a little bit of weird controversy online. Everyone's like, oh, Disney, is this a bad thing? No, what? this is a good thing. Look at this. It is, is, what? This is awesome. He just handed it over. Mm -hmm. To some of the most geekiest directors on the planet right now. Mm -hmm. We're talking on that brain trust. I mean, Joss Whedon is also on that brain trust. No, let's not forget that. Mm -hmm. Brad Bird all up in that. Mm -hmm. Who knows? And then John Lasseter, you know he's going to be getting in there too. And right. Everyone, Ed Catmull, everyone's going to charm in. I am so, so psyched. I mean, come on. I get to be excited again about Star Wars blowing up the screen. We don't have to worry about Hayden Christensen being there. Well, yesterday, I wore my Star Wars... Uh, Old Republic shirt. I sported that yesterday. Whoa. Probably. And then I today, I just wore this shirt. Mm -hmm. Get it all for the Wookiee. <laughs> Bob Iger, yesterday for Halloween, came out over at Disney. He came out dressed as Darth Vader. That's that's a sign. And then he picks up, then they demask Darth Vader. Boom. Bob Iger. <laughs> what are the stories going to be? Is this going to be canon from the novels? We got here the Timothy Zahn books, which some of you out there might have read if you haven't. Maybe go check them out if you're interested. It starts five years right after Return of the Jedi. Grand Admiral Thrawn is uniting some of the uh, Imperial forces that have kind of are lingering after the destruction of the Death Star. Maybe they'll be touching on some of that in this. I don't think that they will because this, right. these books I feel like are the in-between of what's going to come. But also, what do we want to see right now? We want yeah, to see the twins. See. We know oh, Carrie course. Fisher right now. We love you. We know right now she's on the treadmill right now. She's getting ready. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. It's going to be awesome. I want to see some cameos by them. And well. I want Carrie Fisher to, to be Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher was always a little bit in Leia. But now Car Carrie Fisher is just such a specific, hilarious presence. What would Leia be after a bunch of years of marriage to Han right. Solo? And Han hey, Solo would be Harrison Ford. And Leia would be Carrie Fisher. And That's birthing a good two twins, two Jedi twins. That's mm -hmm. a lot. Exactly. Now, are we gonna? Thing. Yeah, are we gonna see that? Are we gonna see the Jason and Jaina Solo stuff? Because it seems like that would be a good spot. The Jedi Academy trilogy. Maybe there are those of you out there who have also played Jedi Academy PC game, PC game, which was huge. These books are sort of like the if you're watching. Uh, like James and Lily Potter established Hogwarts, even though they didn't do that. But if that was the case, okay, let's set up the new Jedi school, and then of course go into Jason and Jaina Solo's training at the Jedi school, which is sort of like, hey, Alan Horn coming on from... Right. Uh, Alan Horn came from Warner Brothers, mm -hmm. and from a little fr franchise called Harry Potter, and Lord of the Rings. Ooh. So he's like, all right, um, I know what to do with all these books. Could it be that? Will it be the young uh, Jedi school that we always want? The, the Jedi school in in the episode trilogy, trilogy is is like is equivalent to like if Barney ran a right. Uh, it Jedi looked like school. a daycare. It didn't look like there's some <laughs> yeah. kind of like actual training being done. Will we see the Jedi school? Will we see Jason and Jaina Solo? I think the real question on everybody's mind is: Will Lobaka be in? Here? He's not. gotta be. Lobaka. Lobaka, Chewie's nephew. Lobaka. Loey, or I call him Loey. No. Look at the young child looking at all this wonderful Caucasian cinema. I really felt. I really, really, somehow. Related with Chewbacca. I don't know how. Maybe just because he's brown. I don't know. I want to <laughs> see his son. Him. Yeah. His Lobaca. nephew. His nephew. His nephew. His nephew. I want Mara Jade Skywalker. Because you got Mara Jade Skywalker, Luke Skywalker's one true love, who he adored from the dark side. Awesome story there. And I think Mark Hamill's got the fight in him. He's been doing great Let him work. do it. Let him do it. He's let dying him. to do it. Yeah. Remember when George Lucas did Let Him See Episode 1? And he had to actually pay the charity ticket of like $10,000 just to go see episode one, guys. Oh my god. That is insane. Episode one. Poor yeah. guy. So he, like, he's a devoted fan. Mm -hmm. Give Mark Hamill a chance. Give Mark Hamill a chance. I think he can and rock he's it. ready. He's I think he's going to kill it. I think we can get all these guys inspired. To, it's like, I don't want them to just be like the parents in the back waving for a second. They need to be intertwined, amazing characters. And they need to bring out... Lifetime performances. Like, this is history. Let's not forget Old Republic. And right. all the video game content. Oh right. My God. There's such a big world here. I heard that they were developing a Rogue Squadron series. I'm not as into that because I feel like I already saw uh, that right. show. It was called Battlestar Galactica. I would love to do what they're doing with Avengers, how they're having Joss develop the, uh, the Shield show 
and the Shield show is going to be tied into the Phase Two of uh, Marvel's movies leading up to Avengers Two. So if they're coming at it with this whole franchise idea, and they're already kind of experimenting with that in Avengers, how are they going to take that to the next level with Star Wars? If the little kids want Anakin Skywalker and all that, Jar Jar Binks, let them have it. Let them have it. But make sure that we get seven, eight, nine. But look, look at the young, Je the young Jedi's. Jason and Jada Solo. Mm. Jason and Jada. Don't forget Don't forget Lobaka. But here's the thing. What if they don't do any? You no, think that fan no doubt. fans will be pissed? Well, look, they found... I mean, they asked, they had jobs for the Avengers. So I'm just hoping they, they pick the right person mm -hmm. to dive into this universe. And that person is Kevin Smith, everyone! Kevin, Kevin Smith! Well, I do know that Chewie dies in the New Jedi Order novels, and that was a very controversial moment. So I think you went out with the chump, you went out with the Martian Manhunter did. No. Why? Also, Mace Windu went out like a chump too. Oof. Chump. Chump. There are a few chump there are a few chumper deaths. A man with a do. purple lightsaber doesn't go out like that. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, look seriously. Go out. I there. wanna see some twin Jedi action! Wait, that sounded wrong, right? Did that sound wrong? <laughs> It did sound wrong. <laughs> no, but seriously, folks, this is a big opportunity. This is a big opportunity for us as a nation to heal ourselves from the Great Recession and come out strong with a new Star Wars for a new era, just as the Jedi's of old would have wanted it. I mean, one thing for sure, no Anakin. No Anakin. No. No Anakin, yeah, because they, I mean, Vader's been so diminished. And that uh, turned into such a pansy from the first. Oh, 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 Thank you for watching, guys. Be sure to come back on Edifan. Never tell me the odds.